that's the thing that I take the most pride in, is the fact that two, just two mooks who, who smart guys who worked hard, figured out they could do something that they'd had no experience and did it. And now it's a world-class brand. Well, I love a good story, especially one that tells the journey of passion that leads to profession. And that's exactly what our next guest did. We are actually making a cocktail today with Mr. Ralph, and he is the founder and distiller of Hudson Whiskey. Welcome to Texas. It's good to see you. Good to be here. Now, this whiskey is unlike any other whiskey because I have a feeling it's a little bit of a labor of love for you. It is. Um, I wasn't a real whiskey fanatic before I started in this business, but I have quickly become one over the years. So give me the background about Husk and Whis H Hudson Whiskey and why this project has just been really so special to you. Well, it started out as uh, simply a, a climbing project. Okay. Um, yes, I you're a rock climber. A, I was a rock climber for many years, and I wanted to live near my, the cliffs and open up a climber's ranch where climbers could camp out but the neighbors didn't take too kindly to uh, my crazy climbers in the neighborhood, uh -huh. so I had to find something else to do. And, so uh, you started drinking. Yeah, right. <laughs> so you started drinking whiskey. Well, I, I discovered a new distilling license in New York that made it possible to open up a distillery, a small distillery in New York, because it lowered the fee considerably. Wow. And so I, took a, I met a business partner who was an engineer, and the two of us just decided to start making whiskey. And, and now you're a whiskey man. And now we're the whiskey you're guys. You're the whiskey guy. Yeah. Um, now you were telling me an interesting fact. This is the first whiskey, wait, I'm going to mess it up, so I'm going to let the, you tell the interesting facts. These are the first whiskeys made in New York since Prohibition, legally. Wow. Uh, but this bourbon is the first bourbon ever made in New York. Do you know Baby what I bourbon. love about this, Ralph? I love the packaging. What made you decide on this type of bottle and this packaging? Because it's it's really kind of cool. Yeah, the package has been very good for us. Because um, it's so different than any other package, We probably. want it to be very simple and straightforward. And uh, it's small simply because we didn't have enough to fill big bottles yeah. when we started. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and and now the bottle the has become sort of iconic, so we keep it that The way. bottle is, I could see how this bottle could be very iconic. And like I said, it's very cool. It's very simple. Now, you're going to let me have a sample today, right? And so you're making, are you going to make a little drink We're for me? We're going to make a, a white Manhattan. Okay. And uh, it's, it is made primarily with our Hudson New York corn whiskey. Okay. Which is here. And this is 100% corn, all grown in New York. Oh, so okay. We use, uh, I've never heard of corn whiskey. Does that make me dumb, or is it rare? Corn whiskey. This particular <laughs> corn whiskey is exactly the same material as our baby bourbon, and the difference between the two is you want some yes, please, is the barrel. Okay. So the corn whiskey doesn't go in a barrel; it doesn't get aged, whereas a bourbon is at least 51% yeah. corn, and it's aged in a new barrel. Okay, so I do my corn whiskey, so some ice, whiskey. and then now what do you use? What's Lille, in there white Lillet. White Lillet. And, and then what? Then orange, do we give a little? Orange bitters. These, I love orange bitters. These are Fee Brothers bitters, and we neglected to open this first. There we go. Fee Brothers is also a New York product. Okay. Uh, and are you from New York originally? Yes, I am. I was born in Manhattan. Are you enjoying Texas? I am enjoying Texas. Good. I'm also visiting family while I'm down okay, here. Okay, so, so we nice. got to make sure you get some good Tex-Mex while you're in town. Okay. Okay, so we're going to stir that up. And stir this up really good. and uh, We've got about a minute left, Ralph. Do I, am I going to get to sample this or yes, what? We're yes. going to serve it right now. Because I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty for some whiskey here at 9.56 in the morning. Is this a strong drink? Is this going to make me, like, sprout a chest hair? Uh, well, I can't speak to chest hair. But it, <laughs> but it, uh, it, if you, it, it will light you up this morning. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. I'm sure go. my mom will appreciate that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a little sip. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. No, okay. I, I kind of was nervous at first, but it's actually really, really smooth. Yes, it is. The corn whiskey. Uh, what we wanted to do, uh, unlike uh, a lot of the old-style corn whiskeys. We wanted to make it really user-friendly and it is easy user to friendly. drink. So it's, and I uh, love everything user-friendly, the packaging, the story, the passion. You guys, next time you're picking up your spirits, give Hudson Whiskey a try. You can try this recipe by going to our website. That's TV.com. Click on today's links. We're back with more after this.